Hello, welcome back. <laughs> a little catch up today of what we've been up to. So I know we said we we're going to have a couple of weeks off, but actually because my lovely family had all clubbed together for a flight for myself and Hudson to go to Malta, to back to Gozo where we used to live, to catch up with friends and family and I had some items in storage I was able to bring back. So we've actually been off the videos because I've been in Malta with Hudson and Lee's been here uh, looking after the animals obviously and finishing up the bedroom so I'm really excited we're back in the bedroom mattress on the floor how the Asians do it it's very comfortable and um, I'll just uh, swing you around so we've got all the skirting he is going to do the windows not ready yet but at least we can sleep in here got Hudson's changing area back here and we're just going to basically we're gonna have Hudson's bed here with his like little reading corner and a nice rug and stuff, so it'll be really nice and cozy for him. So that's what Lee's been up to, and it's and it's nice to have a finished flat floor to clean. Now that's one of the hardest things out here is keeping things clean. Hi, we're Emily, Lee and Hudson. We're from the UK and after some years living abroad in Thailand and Gozo where we got married, we wanted to be closer to nature with our own land for self-sufficiency. So we followed our dream and moved to rural Bulgaria in 2019 in a bid to become debt and stress free and property owners. Follow us on our journey as we renovate our future home, showcase Bulgarian village life and share some useful tips as we learn along the way. We've got big plans on a tiny budget. Welcome to our derelict dream. So, um, was it yesterday? Hudson head butt the window in the lounge and broke a panel of glass. <laughs> he was fine. Yeah. He's fine. The glass wasn't, but luckily there was no um, no cuts, no blood. Sometimes when he gets tired, he just sort of like will walk up to things and headbutt them. <laughs> and I knew it was going to happen because the glass is like two mil thick, isn't it? It's like a, yeah, it's so it's, it's like cling film. Yeah, it's so <laughs> it was gonna, you know, you could tap it and it would break, but so that's another job for Lee. Yeah. Um, but we've been think we've changed our minds again, <laughs> haven't we? <laughs> on what we're going to do to it's, the houses. It's, it's always money dependent for us, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's time and it's uh, money. Yeah, so before we were going to, we've paused here to then concentrate on the apartment there, to move into there, so then we can actually redo here, either to sell or decide on what we want to do in the future, because it's impossible to, to work on and live in the same space. However, the realisation is that there isn't going to be ready for winter financially because we've had ended up having these holidays like going trips to the UK, trip to Malta, the car has had loads of stuff done. So we just can't see how we can actually physically make the apartment ready for winter, which means now the next yeah, we target... Don't, we, don't, we don't have enough paydays. We don't have enough paydays. From, from now between, until winter. Yes. So it's... Yeah. So it's not so much a time thing. Yeah, yeah, and uh, things get in the way, don't they? Life gets in the way. So we've now got to concentrate back on here <laughs> because we can't spend another winter living in one room. Especially, it's fine when he was a baby, and now he needs space. Yeah. You pen in mouth, Lee. Pen in mouth. Take it out. <laughs> Cheeky. So, uh, so now we need to focus on this extension again. <laughs> because, let me move it that way, that's better. We need the extension to be winterproof so that he's got, or we've all got, a big space for eating, lounging, and bedroom separate. Big, big fireplace. Big fireplace, so we, we'll live in then. It's child friendly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll live in two rooms over winter rather than one room over winter. So I'll just sort of do a little whizzy tour so you can understand what we need to do. So this space that we're still using as our toy room, dining, we'll remain that. We'll bring the we'll bring the sofa. We'll basically shut off these two rooms, my office and the lounge. I mean, I might still obviously use the office with an electric heater. We'll bring the sofa in here. So this will be um, toy space, lounge, dining, 
obviously the fridge, we've got loads of space here we can move stuff to. And then the bedroom will be up there. And we'll ha Lee wants to put the fire here. So we'll be able to feed that, get up in the morning, feed that fire. And he's gonna construct a better baby gate system here. So Hudson will not have access to that fire as much as he can try. And he tries to climb everything, don't you? But so that's the plan. I know it's kind of boring going back and forth, isn't it? But we've got to keep every, we've got to keep thinking about every winter, and obviously Hudson and his stages. So that's why we tend to <laughs> change our minds a lot because <laughs> everything changes, obviously, as he changes and as funds change. So we're back to the original house, renovating the extension for winter warm space to live that's bigger and then we'll go back to the new place for spring right yeah i mean i i don't know if you said that we're going to be building three new doors no yeah yeah solid yeah so that's going to be a video on that for sure yeah we've got four windows to build out here yeah all the windows uh two windows to build in the bedroom yeah uh, and we're going to order the wood probably tomorrow right? yeah yeah, yeah. So, um, and, and Lee's going to construct his own workbench because he can't do anything, any of this without a workbench. Yeah, yeah. It's been two, three years without a workbench. I know, I and don't I know how you've done it. just something flat. If I'm making doors... <laughs> uh, oh, that's nice. I need something big and flat to build yeah. the doors um, <laughs> for glue-ups and stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's probably going to be what I do this morning. Cheeky. Cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the day has come where I actually get a workbench. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. It's not gonna be anything special, um, but it needs to be at least two meters long. Um, this is because I'm gonna be making doors that are two meters long. So uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna build the frame today out of offcuts, which I've stacked over here. These are all what people will call a two by four. Um, excuse me. Thank you. Hey, stop. Yeah, these are all uh, what they call two by fours, uh, but they're five centimeters by ten centimeters. It's what we used to build the extension. So these are the offcuts from that, which I've been saving for a long time. Um, they're all a little bit twisted, not very nice, not really usable for anything else. So um, yeah, going to build a workbench, and when we get our new wood delivery to build the doors and the windows that we spoke about. Uh, I'm also going to order a, uh, what's it called, hydrophobic plywood? Excuse me dogs. Hey. Uh, which is what they use to pour cement and, and things like that. So yeah, super strong. Not the best quality stuff, but it's going to give me a nice flat surface. I can't deal with you. It's going to give me a nice flat surface to, uh, to build stuff on. Um, yeah, I've, I've muddled through the past few years without one, trying to, uh, you know, build things on the floor inside and, uh, yeah, my back just can't do it anymore. So I've cleared a little area here, I'm going to cut everything to size and put it together. So um, I'm starting here with the, uh, the smallest pieces that I have, they're going to be the legs. Um, just to try and minimise the amount of waste that we have. Um, any waste we do have will be going in the fire anyway, so um, yeah, it's all helpful. Um, I should have enough here. I'm hoping that I won't have to go to my decent stack, which is up there. That's all been uh, been dried for cool, two years now, so that's lovely. Um, so I don't want to use that for a for a workbench, but uh, yeah, fingers crossed, we should be all right. I'll measure it up and get it cut.
and there it is wow real hot um yeah probably not ideal for someone who wants to be like hammering and, and stuff like that it's it's not like a a fully fledged workbench shall we say uh, but once I've got the smooth top on it, this will give me uh, eight feet by four feet across of workspace. So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping that I can put it in this area behind me here, which is just storage and garbage. So at some point I'm going to have to go through that and it should fit nicely here. I've already got the power in this area, so it'd be great sitting down here, put the fan on and I can do sanding, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, this is going to be an absolute game changer and hopefully make the next lot of work that we've got to do, which is the uh, the doors and the windows, should speed up that process quite significantly. And I can stop whenever I want. So I'll be able to look after Hudson. If if uh, if Em can watch him for half an hour, I'll be down here for half an hour. And I don't have to worry about driving somewhere else. And yeah, I mean, this is, uh, this is really going to help us out. And hopefully... We get some decent videos out of it too. So we've had to come out in the car because little man will not go down to sleep no matter what I do. I think when you've taken him away like on holiday and he slept in a different room and then you've brought him back and then you've changed bedrooms, he's just not settling at all. He's too excited, just wants to keep running around the room and trying to open I the door. Really well last night. Lee slept well last <laughs> night. Well, that's all right, isn't it? And, um, so hopefully when I've stopped gathering on, he will actually sleep. And so anyway, we're going to go for a drive. Lee's done the workbench until obviously without the top. We'll be ordering the wood later. Now we do this online with a company based outside of VT. We can put the link below, but once we've got it all through, we can let you know the pricing and show you the product. So we're not actually going in person to order it. We do this via email. That's, that's because of what we're ordering because we're ordering things that are already planed and shaped. Okay. Four sides. Yeah. It saves me a lot of work and a lot of time. Yeah. Um, and the price difference isn't really that much. Okay. Compared to raw timber. Mm. The place that we normally go in Elena is where we get our raw material from. Um, they don't do any of the planing or, or stuff like that. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's so not we... a wood yard that you walk around. Yeah. I, I suppose you could, but I've yeah. never been there in person. No. And the website's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's really clear. So that's what we'll do. And um, we have the dreaded task when it gets delivered of carrying it all up the driveway. <laughs> I might drag it with the car. I might drag it with the car. Just put a rope around it and drag it. Yeah. <laughs> and so also thank you to everyone that's emailed us since our last video about the visa updates. We are working really hard with our partner who's doing that. And we we'll do a video on it soon we just want to make sure everything's in place properly before we get that all uploaded um, we've got the website now very basic page at the minute but you can contact us on there or contact us on email if you want more information and uh, yeah thanks for your patience on it it's not as quick as we we want or hope it to be but that's just Oh, I mean, that's all of Europe, isn't it? Manana, manana. <laughs> we want results quickly, but it's not always that about, way. But about six weeks. The thing, uh, yeah, but I mean in response time, not the process. Ah, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, so just bear with us on it. We, we are, we are going to get there. Um, and that's it. We'll keep you updated. There will be more Lee renovation stuff in the next bids. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. See you soon.